Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes. <coughs> it is time to delve further into the jungle. The jungle of sin. Let me put my bullshit on. All the bullshit. Yeah, where it matters, it works, right? <laughs> Bleed! I need to get sorted and stun. I'm gonna put 10 points in here. Ooh, wait, how much do I need for the... Uh, Actually, let's look at the trader what first. Brings a foreigner such as you Cause I might swap the swords, you know? <laughs> Might that thing be sold here? Oh, it moves! Defensive ability. If I put 10 in here... And another 2. I can still not do fuck all with these. When do they come online? <gasps> gloves! Ooh, but gloves are the only ones I don't care about. I gotta sink everything and it's not enough. Not even for these. 569, my god. Yeah. Which stinks because now I'm pretty much forced to never put points into dexterity. And sure, dexterity doesn't raise my damage as much as strained. And intelligence barely moves the, the needle. But dexterity would give me some... Well, some... Uh, some sugar here this defensive although it, it would only give defensive ability sure it would also increase bait damage but as it already stands it's, again. it's there but it's not much yes. so who knows buy more men and guns energy regeneration a bunch of health and speed puppet master bad you know why it's bad you don't need health and speed well the 10% speed is not bad it's not much Health is not needed for minions. It's never needed. It's only needed for the summoner. Farewell. Minions go damage, summoner goes all the health you can get. I wanna see the Rakotis, I wanna see the helmet. I think the helmet is 496 strength. <clears throat> Cause we're getting closer and closer to that. You know, 444. Still gonna get some from side missions. What? Do you not need much. something? Helmet. Helmet is 493. Is that what has stun resistance? Hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, That's okay. Again. Act 2 is easy. Nothing can kill us in Act 2. Huh? Manticore? Nah. That doesn't stun, so I don't care about that. Hello. Hello. Uh Cat. Both of the cats are here. They've been they've been running around and playing, so hopefully they're going to calm the fuck down and not be a nuisance. But even if they are, I can just twist their little heads until I hear the crack of the neck. Hey, and then it's it fine. was a strange. They'll sleep for a couple hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do with my cats. Yeah, I'll kill them. Kill them every day. They kill me back. <laughs> it's a kill and be killed situation. Come on, birds. Oh. <laughs> That's the best part of this ability. How easy it is to just whoops. Shoot it somewhere into the fucking unknown. It's like a Voyager. Space main. Hold on, cats. Cats are wanting to go.
Massive poop. Massive. Oh, shit. I'm getting stunned by fire. Stun and fire. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe Act 2 is going to be... A little more annoying than I thought it would be. Yes. Oh no, I'm dead. So soon. There's a mummy. What an idiot. Rot away, little mummy, rot away. Oh yeah, they can get, they can get poisoned. What an idiot. What an idiot bunch of zombies and skeletons. They can get poisoned. And they're like, oh no! Poison? Does it corrode them or something? Is it is that why? Does it does poison like mess up the magical links that hold the skeletons together? Is it like a virus? And these guys are like terminators or something? Just frames, droids. Oh, hold on, one of the cats is trying to go in where she's not supposed to, again. Adorable. And yet, what a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Although, diplomacy was successful. After breaking the neck of the cat, of course. A limp corpse of a feline. It's much easier to barter with than a living creature. I had there's so many mages. No. Fucking kill you. Even if it kills me. <laughs> oh my god, where's my Pierce? Where's Pierce Brosnan? Are you kidding me? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. More mages! That should be the last of them. But only part one. Ooh. It's a turd.
No more. If you know what Zippo Cat is, that's what I did. <clears throat> Just twice. And if you don't know it, you know what to do. Google that shit. So you know. And you will never be able to unknow. <laughs> no, at your own risk. And if you're the kind of person who hates animals, any kind of animal, just because they look a certain way, go see a fucking doctor because you're sick. I still don't know what the red aura on the guy is. It felt like some kind of reflect. Acid reflect. <laughs> Etchlings. I would like to see the the things these maggots hatch out of off. Because they're hatchlings. Is the egg. I want to see egg. Squish, squish. Holy fuck, that bubble shield does not last <clears throat> more than a minute, probably, does it? As the... How, how long does it even last? 20 seconds? Is that the duration? Or the cooldown? 10 second recharge. <clears> That's <throat> the duration. Who knows? <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. My fucking throat. Wait, 60 second recharge. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing, lol. That's why there is no duration. 100 second duration only. Couldn't even make it 120 to make it at least nice. It's one minute, 40 seconds. What? Or, or then make it 90. Sure, it's less than 100, but at least it's nicer. <laughs> Come on. What is that 100 second nonsense? Who designed that skill? Who balanced it? I was like, hey, make it last a hundred seconds and make the cooldown of it <clears throat> 60. It's just like, what? No one's gonna argue that it's weird. How much money is there? Jesus. Because technically I can always keep 100% uh, upkeep the fucking shield, right? Problem is, it's a fucking chore. That's the kind of defense I just don't even want to put up. And I still do, because it makes the fruitiest noises. It's magic. Pure. Magic. The study praise is just science. You're like, aha, that's where I need to shoot. Haha. I know my quarry now. For like 10 seconds and then for 8 seconds and then I forget. I need to study them again. Yeah. <clears throat> it's science. If you have goldfish's memory. And if you don't, then it's magic. Imagine if Herbal Remedy was also something like, oh, I last fucking 100 seconds. Come on. I bet there were different people balancing different masteries or thinking them up. Because Herbal Remedy has 720 second duration. What the fuck? And no cooldown. You can bestow Herbal Remedy on your entire party. Maybe that's why it has such a weird duration cooldown combo. 
So you can maybe put it on one more person, keep two people running. Kind of. It's not meant to be shared. It's a personal bubble only. You don't have the augment mod for it. <laughs> Can't put it on others, lol. My bubble. It protects me only. Oh fuck! I think these are vitality demons. Want to get rid of this scum first. The stinky ones. What the fuck is that? Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. I can't even see you. I literally can't see him. Oh, there they are. What an asshole. They have range advantage because they are on high ground. And But now they are on by ground. Haha, <laughs> because they die and go goodbye. You know... Did I farm a little bit here? I mean, I can kill them in a decent manner. Oh, I can actually reach him. Or her. I don't know what this thing was when it was alive. They're probably not even... I mean, it does say undead. But they are probably just appari apparitions. App apparitions? App you know, ghosts. Fuck. I don't know how to pronounce that word. <coughs> Apparitio. Yeah. <laughs> They are the ghosts of skeletons. There you go. If I put the R on them, all of them are going to start attacking me. That's why I'm not. Do that's why I'm not doing it. They really like to aggro on whoever puts the R on them. They are sensitive like that. I put the R on them, and they actually didn't care. Hey, that's cool. I'm gonna kill the spawner. <coughs> we had enough farming. Plus, there's another one on the other side, so... Holy fuck. The amount of mages. Unreal. Ah, they're coming here. <laughs> they give up on my guy. It's dodging everything! <clears throat> what can we do? Uh, we can maybe get some kind of... candy that helps with the throat. <laughs> I don't know what's up in my throat. Maybe it's the fresh air. I had too much fresh air today. While I was also inhaling a lot of gravel dust. Because that's just how you do. When you're working on a road made of gravel. Yeah. Gravel dust. Oh, come on. Oh! Somehow one of my shots hit him. One of the spreads did a little reach further. Very nice. Where's that spawner? You cunts. Oh no, you killed it! What the fuck? My spawner... Oh. Against skeletons, it feels so underpowered. Maybe you should have like a skeleton gear or an undead gear. 
like swap on some different boots or something that has uh, a relic on it. Gives extra damage against the undead. Because they are fucking annoying. Also the attack speed. Like, holy fuck. I might actually swap back to the other bow. Holy shit. <clears throat> Even though the DPS is also lower than this. Still is faster. And it goes 1v1 clearing speed. Or maybe I just need to position myself so enemies are in a line. Doorways, maybe. This, and then I set him up and knock him down. Unless my character stops firing for some fucking reason. <clears throat> At least I'm invincible. Oh, those fucking things. Those turn into the blue ghosts, right? Those floaty fucks. Well, I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh no, those are not the ones. These are the dog keepers. The ones with the aura turn into the blue ghosts. Can I stun these? Negative. Or maybe positive, that guy's just hanging out. They don't have a stun animation, they just hang out. Just fine. Oh shit. Thank fuck for that wave thing. I didn't look into the other Tyrant's Fist. Because I have at least one more Thunder Fist. Which I need to make to make another Tyrant's Fist. But I didn't... I didn't look into it. But honestly the... Oh fuck! There they are. These horrible me mean bastards. Holy fuck, what are you doing? What do you want from me? Why? Why fire? Just fucking stun yourself. Snuck up on me. But yeah, honestly the uh, the damage bonus completion bonus is pretty okay. Cause I would probably get something like four to nine extra damage. It's like what? Or Five second chance to stun, which is nice. And since I already have the 15%, which doesn't actually proc as much as I would like it to, probably because of the slow ass attack speed. Don't see a lot of outgoing pew pew. But yeah, uh, you know, maybe I would get something like that stun chance, or maybe an extra 30 dexterity. Which would also not be bad, but not, but wouldn't be as good as the 25% damage. Sadly. Well, oh no, they're going to poison the Nile. I can't let that happen. I shall piss in this. Yes. Oh my god. At least these guys are... Oh, these guys are the skeleton ones. Yay. They transform. Holy fuck. And of course they're burning, so that's nice.
Maybe that's why the other bow was so much better. Because the faster you fire, the more shrapnel you also generate. Well, not more, but more shrapnel per second. Or fragment per second. And I don't think the, the game tells you about the fragments DPS when it... Or maybe it doesn't calculate that when it does the uh, DPS or the average damage either. Why the fuck are they running? Oh, snap. Are you running? Where are you running? Are you just, uh, what kind of... Oh, I don't even know what kind of things it gives. Probably de dexterity, not dexterity, fucking experience only. But it's kind of far from the uh, portal. There's the portal right there. Uh, this is all I've done. Although there were two fucking skeleton bunkers. Uh, that's kind of slow to clear. That was a bit close. For the most part, I can hold my own. Eh, spirit caller. That's nice. I think that's the vitality path. No, oh, it's physical path. Okay. Holy shit! <clears throat> Cold resistance, freeze duration, slow attack retaliation. It's kind of shit. Flat damage and health regeneration. Twenty-one fifty-five. Oh my god! Although that's because I lose the plus one. Yeah, Woodlord is not maxed now. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I don't really care about cold resistance, though. This is Bodu. Bodu oh, gives a lot of health. Doo -doo -doo. I might rethink my, uh... Oh my god, that's a lot of dudes with fire. My, uh, what's my call it? My plans on... Augments and shit. What did I put on this? Fire resistance. Oh yeah, I can put... I can take this off once we're done with Act 2, honestly. I don't care. Is that legendary, though? Embodiment. Okay, it's just epic. Embodiment Dragon King. So far, I... Don't think I've seen the Dragon King's relic needed for any blueprints, so I don't mind breaking that. Plus I probably got more. Maybe. But yeah. Even though Act 3 has those asshole dragons towards the end, that do a bunch of fire, those dragon archers, I'll take my chances with them. I'll probably focus on attack speed relics if I can. Because honestly, that's just, you know... To me, that's more important than actual fucking resistances. I'd rather die ten more times. I'm just seeing how long I can... HOW LONG I can, I can go before this slow attack pisses me off. Which is probably not long. I'm probably gonna get to the uh, get to Memphis and then just swap. We have money. Oh, we have money. We have so much money. I can probably buy one other item from the shop if I see something good. Oh look, Memphis! Thank God. Oh. 
Hansel's wagging its little tail. That hyena was in the zone. And then I killed it. These hyenas look very nasty though. If they, f they look too burly for a fucking hyena. They're like buff. Buff hyenas. Big. Big buff hyena. Look how meaty that fucking torso is. Just like the walls. The walls also look kind of weird in this game. <laughs> oh, is this the fucking place with the totem that does the waves of death? Still have the ring in my inventory, so I can just do that. Nothing to fear. Asshole. Stop hiding behind your skeletons. Jesus. Hate those things. And there's another one. I don't actually know the totem's drop table. But it's... I think it's a... It's not a boss, right? We'll see. We'll see soon enough, I guess. Oh, I thought that was the devourer. I mean, it is a devourer. Actually, it's a defiler. Ew. But it's not the... Uh, the unique hero maggot. Or hero crypt worm. Crypt worm. Gonna, they're gonna violate my little wisp? No. Great, there's a fucking thorn thing here. Skeletons don't bleed. Holy fuck. Look at that! The fucking pierce just doesn't want to happen. I'm shooting that one guy and the skeleton mage behind him doesn't even take damage. No pierce, no fragment, no nothing. Look at that. What the fuck? Do they have some kind of anti-fragment thing? No way. What's the fucking percentage on this shit? 75% to pass through enemies. That asshole was eating all of that. No way. Unbelievable. That's why I fucking hate skeletons. They just don't care. There you go. Good wave. Good wave. Perfect. A lot of rings we can sell. For like at least half a million. Together. All of these. Maybe more. Probably more, because I think 150,000 was the cap in Act 1. Early Act 1, at least. Or it was 100, I don't know. I don't know what the cap is here. But I might be able to sell all of these rings at cap. They're very nice and shiny. Covered in maggot guts. Dried under the Egyptian sun. Yeah, this is the place where the asshole lives. That guy, that maggot was not getting shrapneled either. What the hell? Is this broken? Is my... <gasps> oh my god, I just fucking realized. I realized. So late. And you remember turning it off yesterday because of the fucking spear. And I never put it back on. That's why the projectiles were slow. Yesterday I was thinking, oh, look at that. Now that we have a, a fucking. a little less marksmanship. Projectiles are nice and visible. It's actually better this way. I like it because it's nice and shiny shit. Just. Doo, doo, doo. 
I didn't have marksmanship on! How long? <laughs> Alright. Fuck. I see the error of my ways. Who closed this? And filled it with poo gas. Was it that skeleton? What an asshole. Fuck. That's why they didn't get shrapnel. That's... Dude, what the fuck? Now the fucking things are going. Look at that. The shrapnel's doing its thing. I wonder, can the shrapnels all... Uh... Oh, it also spawns these fucking things. Sorcerers. Hold on, little sorcerers. I gotta go and swap my ring out. Ring. Boop. I lose some uh, damage. Ooh, 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 ooh. Which one gives the more... Yeah. I want the more melee dodge on. But yeah, I... Fuck. Because now we got some vitality resistance. Ah! 93 extra percentage. Right, we gotta clear this fucking thing out first. The stuff we can't summon. Oh, look at that. Now it pierces so nice. Baby, let's go. Come on, shoot this shit. What are you shooting at? Shoot the fucking device. Kill it. They can shoot through the fucking things. It's fine. There you go. Okay. Good job, birdies. They do the squall, so I don't have to care. Look at that. Double squall. Because I can keep one squall up, but they can keep up two if they want to. Well, I don't fucking care about squall. Strange. It's actually a very good ability, but I don't care. Oh! Ah! Golden bitch! Come back here. Yeah, take it. Take it, you bug. It's deflecting everything because it has this little shield on. But that shield is going to expire one day. There it is. There it goes. And now we shred this asshole. Look at him go. I'm gonna go down. I put it back on. Oh no, he didn't. Just need to stun him. Oh yeah, legendary golden scarab. Cause that puppy can also give us plus two to every skill. Can go into amulets and necklaces. I can make this plus five. Well, plus four. But... Oh my god, I didn't have that fucking thing on for so long. I didn't even realize until it was those fucking skeletons. Like, why is it not piercing this asshole? Why is the maggot not getting shrapneled? Why? It's fixed. Now oh, wait a minute, now the ring is missing. Huh. I'm not at 100% gamer today. Oh, no. I'm slipping.
Come here. What are you shooting at? This one is selected and shooting at that one. Bruh. Cross eyed idiot. Shooting him. It would be so nice if I could see the debuffs on my character. Like somewhere up here. Like they would go on the other side, start on the other side, go towards the middle. Maybe have a red outline. They know they're bad. Because I. I don't know why, but I felt like uh, I was squalled by the dude. Because they throw the, the flasks, right? Hey, Croft, Finitum. You to Titan Quest? Can I tell you what the point of the... F what is the point in the first temple at Helios Village in Greece? Oh, the first temple. If you turn on the... Uh, the red shrines, the first temple, you get... Uh, resistance debuffs. But, in exchange, enemies will start awarding you Electrum, this silver currency. And if you collect enough silver currency, this Electrum thing, you can exchange that at the very same temple for uh, loot boxes, essentially. That are based on difficulties and acts. Like the first column gives you items, potential unique items from the first three acts, then it's the Hades one, which is act four, then Ragnarok Atlantis, and then two Eternal Embers ones, but of course you need the uh, expansions for those, and you need to be in the right difficulty level, like you, you can only exchange le for legendary loot box on legendary difficulty, but you can also do epic and normal difficulty. So yeah, you give yourself a, a debuff, or more, you can take all of them, but you will get more and more uh, Electrum for your troubles. I recommend you to turn it on, on in normal difficulty, turn a couple on, because in normal difficulty things are easy enough that you can easily handle some debuffs. They each give, like if you do the fire one, I think it's minus 20 or 25% uh, red resistance to fire and minus 10 to everything else, including uh, some of the secondary resistances as well. They can get uh, lowered as well. But on normal difficulty, you can just easily cruise on by with some of those on. And you'll normally gain enough uh, Electrum that by the time you're done with normal difficulty you might be able to buy something for epic difficulty or if you don't want to you can get it for legendary later. But of course they cost more and more Electrum. I can hold that for you! It's a way to lower the farming required. Oh, it's a normal one? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the relic vault, I don't care. Because the uh, the farming in this game can get a, a little too much. But if you gain this thing on the side... If you're willing to gain, uh, to get some debuffs... You know, you can... Save you can mammoth. buy those boxes, and they can get you rares and uniques and legendaries or whatever. The good stuff. I don't have time for However, don't they switch can also head drop garbage. I'm too busy. So I suppose you'll want something that's sold out. Be prepared for that. Oh, this is what I want. Ooh, these boots. These boots are nice. Cheers. 
shields we don't care this bow sucks oh ooh, hmm fire sleep stun reduced freeze entrapment slow okay this is also worthwhile to check armor i have a better armor actually it's not better than this it's different whatever i hope you could follow what i was rambling about any guards of the temple in Helos? Mm, I think I have one of those. It's fine. I don't need that. Oh, actually, mana potions. Oh, I forgot to stock up on mana potions. Fuck. I might have to go back to Act 1 or normal difficulty. So they make the game harder and get better loot, correct? Essentially, yes. Old and offensive. Eh. Oh, mystery. Alright, let's look at these boots. How much strain do I need? 569. However, that's nice. I cannot get up to that. Ah, oh, that would be an extra 14% pierce resistance. That would be good. Although I would lose damage and movement speed. I don't care about movement speed that much. 569. How, how high can I get? E close. Close but no cigar. I'll keep it in my stash. Alright then. Let's get this thing first. Hmm? I'm probably gonna swap to the other torso armor now. Our chests Think. are spacious and secure. <sighs> yeah. Keep these. Boots. What are these boots again? Hey, I lose pierce resistance. I can put the incarnation of Heracles' might on this. So I only lose 35. Put me down to 25 though. And I lose the damage. Something had stun resistance on it. Oh yeah, the helmet. Shit. Oh, and the carapace. So I could put this on the torso. There's 50% stun resistance. If I so desire. This thing also should be lower. Belong in here. Health. And this would give me 40% pierce resistance. Hey, look at that. So I could swap the boots out, maybe. I would lose damage. What would I lose here? Some armor. I would lose some poison resin, but that's fine. I would gain some damage. I would lose health. Yeah, health would be the one that I lo lose. But I get dodge attacks as well. Yeah, I, we're, we're swapping. We're swapping to the snake thing. And I'm gonna put this legendary carapace on it. That poison is still 80%. Well, honestly, that's not even a problem. Pierce didn't change. The rest I don't care about. Damage goes down a little. Actually, it goes up because I get the 7%. But now I have to redistribute points in my masteries. Health is the one that goes down. By 500, yeah. That's a problem. Bye! But I'm sure I'll get a migraine because of that later. Pardon me. I am afraid my brother. Pardon me, I'm afraid my brother. <laughs> hey Paul. Hello. What is that dog creature? Is that a, is that one of those awakening procedure? That's a cute dog. It's a nice dog. How you doing, Paul? Well, look, a mighty warrior from foreign lands. I'm sure you will find all... Please. 36 life leech. Oh, what the hell did I buy? I don't need that. What is that? Garbage. Health leech. Ooh, health, damage, demons, and magical. I don't... If that was damage to undead, I would probably just slap that on right now. Fucking undead is annoying. Lightning and defensive ab ability. Man, if that was fire instead of lightning... 
some of these rings are like almost good enough to just not care about the damage bonus and the dodge shit, but they just miss the mark. Miss. Goodbye now. It's not all the streamers, dog girl. Yeah, I see. Nala was is the uh, emote snake. Buy your potions now. I won't get more till next week. Nala. This is some simlish. Pierce damage, bonus damage, movement, 18% movement. What is this one? 16%. So I could have a better movement bow. Not that I ever swap to this when I'm just running. How much? Ugh. Otherwise it's garbage. But I can mod it, but uh, why? God's protect you. Alright, so this would give me the, the pierce and the stun. And then I can, because if I swap this, I'm minus 16, what? Oh yeah, minus 16, because this one has the pierce as well. So I'd have to, well, I mean, I could put, oh, it's torso and shield, yeah. But I can put something on this as well. 41, that's 40. That's 1% pierce lost, well, actually more. Fucking 76% pierce lost. And the damage. Damage is not that bad, but you know what, let's go like this. Because the stun was getting to me as well. Even though I just said I want to look for something that has attack speed on it, and I just put on a carapace. Storage for the burden. Mechanical traveler. parts have the speed on it, fifteen percent, and it goes for casting and movement as well. I'm so stupid. I don't want to. Ah, but if I take that off, breaks. Would be so nice if I could fucking search in the stash and see if I have a fucking attack speed thing. I'm Good not gonna quit the game and go into TQ worlds just for that. I'm gonna keep these boots. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's a deceiving picture. Oh, I thought that was like in front of the, f the toes, but it's not. It's just the. That's an ugly, ugly thing then. Plus, I don't need the stun resi anymore. Because it can't, can't go above 80%, because this would put it to 85. Useless. Useless boots. Trash. Your goods Garbage. are safe with me. These prices are wild. Oh, yeah, economy goes what you see is all I have. absolutely bonkers in this game. You know, just a cool 21 million gold for this bow. That's why, if you. If you're. Especially on your first couple characters. You will want to loot and sell your loot all throughout the game because you know you will you will not Come have a lot again. of saved up uniques and stuff that can work for you later on. So you will want to look through the shop, but things can get super expensive. And this is just Act Two, so <laughs> that's a, I had like a hundred and two million, and I think I bought I bought these boots. And I'm and I went down to 85 million, so there, that's like another 20 million ish, just for fucking boots. That was yesterday, but money also comes fast. Although there's a a sell limit cap, like a what do you want? You can only sell things up to a certain amount of money. Like if I try to sell this bow, 175 thousand is the uh, the sell cap, and all of these meet that. It goes up late in later acts, but it's kind of wild. So you can't even gain money that All much. Right then. So you want to fill your inventory with trash you get along the way to just sell it. Because even, even potions. Man, potions. The reason why I have normal energy potions from normal difficulty act 1 is because energy potions are super fucking expensive. And I did a pyromancer. That was full, just full pyromancer, only only flame surge, and it went through its energy like no tomorrow, and I constantly had to chug energy potions, but they were so expensive, I literally went broke in legendary difficulty because I just couldn't keep up with the looting. That's how expensive the uh, the larger energy potions get, and they are not even worth it. Normal difficulty energy potions is all you need. If you're a heavy caster, get the energy potions from later acts. 
but normal difficulty potions for energy are just whatever. Health potion is cheaper, and uh, it actually matters to get the larger ones, because the difference between the larger ones and the previous difficulty ones is noticeable, and of course, your health goes to zero, you die, your energy goes to zero, some of your auras turn off, but you're not dead, so you know, it's more important. Also, scrolls are amazing. I love the Storm Witches, for example. Scrolls. Summon scrolls are super good. Ah, I, ah, I am... Yeah, but the economy is, is whack. <laughs> I am Sazam. If our authority... Some... It's like current, current day economy. It's, it's amazing. I mean, the game was made in 2006, and in 2008 there was the financial crisis. So, <laughs> maybe they knew what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> but our game vendors are always crazy with their pricing. I mean, what? Not necessarily. I think in Torchlight, vendor prices are decent. Then again, in Torchlight, you don't talk to vendors. Torchlight Two, the gambler vendor is expensive, though. Yeah, but that's the gambler vendor. You don't need these rings. I don't even know when I got these rings from. Did I get these from quests? Come Who again. Fuck those rings. Oh man, my attack is... Oh yeah, I need to go back to Rakotis to fix my attack speed. I need those 2% back. Kind of went broken Grimdawn f <laughs> for the late game set crafting. Oh yeah, Grimdawn is also like... When you get into it, I never have enough of those fucking crafting materials, those flowers or whatever, the Ogden Blooms. When I want to be like, okay, I need one piece from this set, I have seven of identical fucking things, let's turn them into, hopefully, the missing piece, and I don't have the materials. <laughs> I'm too lazy to the fucking farm for that. Knowledge bears a high price. Man, I haven't played Grimdawn in years, Jesus. Although, Fangs of Asterkarn is coming out this year, so that's gonna be nice. Let's take out all these points, May because destiny fuck them. Teach you greatness. These are more important. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. And the rest can be put back to maximum when I level up. It's nice. Hunting is more important for this build than Storm. Storm is barely anything, to be honest. Fucking Storm Nimbus is ass for bows. Because most of its augments are for retaliation. And it's on that only applies if someone punches you. And sure, a lot of people punch me. You know? Because I can't kill them fast enough because I'm slow now. Only 100% speed. But ideally you don't want to get punched, you know? You wanna dodge. Hate this. Hate this stone. It's a good... A good skill tree. It's not the best for... What I'm doing with it. Alright, let's keep going. I don't remember which way I went last time. So we're gonna go up. Up first. Yay. This is a lightning build? Uh, not really. I wanted to make it into a, an elemental, like lightning, cold, and pierce. But it's mainly just physical pierce. The lightning barely does anything. Like. I'm gonna turn my uh, Storm Nimbus off after the ske skeletons, the scorpions are gone. And like, look at the damage. It's 2207 if I turn it off. It barely does anything. Because Storm Nimbus is trash. <laughs> and I don't have intelligence, of course. If I had 400 intelligence instead of strained, it would be better, but I went with strained. Because uh, bows need a little strain, although not nearly 400. And there was a point in, I think, middle 
the middle of epic difficulty, I think that's when I had to make a choice. Do I go strength or do I go intelligence? Because my gear was absolute shit. Like, I, I did not have dexterity stuff. And, weirdly enough, these three items are dexterity. <laughs> so I did get them later on. But I opted to go with strength because strength also increases the physical damage of the bow. And some of it gets converted to, to pierce damage, which scales with dexterity, so they kind of feed off of each other, or feed into each other. So I opted to go mainly, mainly with hunting to just go physical pierce. The lightning is just there. It does have a very good stun ability. The, uh, what is this called? The Thunderball. This is very nice for stunning. It's a very high stun, even on the fragments. Plus, you know, there's Lightning Bolt that can stun the Ice Shard once you le once you get to Torrent. Once you start torrenting with the Ice Shard. <laughs> that thing is fun. Until you get Torrent, it's fucking trash. But once you get Torrent, it's, you know, <laughs> it's a whole new world. Also, Squall is very good, but I'm too lazy to use it. The Bubble is good because it gives you good resistances for cold and lightning. It has a net ability with freezing blast, but I don't care about that. Uh, and storm surge, which is just retaliation. Which is sad. Also the wisp. The wisp might be better uh, if I went with elemental, because this also increases elemental damages. So if I went into lightning, lightning and cold more, I would definitely go up to 32 and get the uh, Eye of the Storm. But like, up here, I don't even know. Wisps does more damage, that's mostly for summoning. And Lightning Dash is melee, so fuck that. Yeah. This spell is also nice, but again, I'm too lazy to use it. Even though some strong mage enemies could... What they do with a dispel when you're fighting them, but... Yeah. I don't... I don't care. I'm just a simple archer. With a magical bow. I also have a better bow. Like, I have Borealis, and Borealis is essentially your endgame... Uh, uh, Storm Mastery bow. In Anniversary Edition. Like, there's probably a better one. If you have the, the later expansions, but... Borealis would be the, the thing. And I actually had like three Borealis bows, but only the best can stay. Because there's no point collecting multiple of bows of the same bow. You can't dual wield bows. That would be weird. In Walsen you can, with a mod. But Walsen is trash, so you don't do that. But yeah, if I went, I could have gone lightning, cold, do intelligence instead of strength, do intent dex gear, and then I would probably use Borealis, because that would give even more lightning and cold damage. But it's fine either way. That's the good thing about it. Although going strained, I could swap to spear and shield at any time, really. Because I have enough strength to equip half decent shields. Although I tried it yesterday and I got killed in like two seconds, so. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not the best. I'm sticking to uh, shooting shit. Oh man, I have 11... 18! 18? 18% 18? 18 dodge attack! Oh, that's so sexy. That's probably better than increasing my defensive ability by another 200. Which I don't know how I'm going to do. Is Wilson worse than Diablo 4? Probably yes. I haven't played Diablo 4, but the... 
I've only seen a little bit of the uh, Diablo 4 Necromancer, and that looked decent. Balsam was not decent. Although that I, I played it on release, and on release it felt like it shouldn't have released. I don't know the state of the game now. I think I remember something like uh, about half a year to a year after release, they made the end game grind even worse, or something like that. But I never did end game grind in Wilson. I just went through the normal story gameplay, and then I dropped it. Still remember my character at the very final cutscene was was doing a T pose without pants, of course. Because all throughout the game, I just didn't equip any pants. I didn't need to. The game was easy. <laughs> pants would have helped. I, I mean, I probably died more than I should have. Oh my god. My stream died! Why did no one tell me? That's alright, it's back. Hello, we're back. I don't know how much was lost. About my rambling about Volson, the pantsless Volson. But, uh. That is the nature of the beast when you're using Wi Fi. It's fine. Sound of it chat if you're still around. <laughs> Although, Lost Epoch is clearly better than both Diablo 4 and Wilson. You know. Even though that game could have also stayed in the oven for another couple months, just to iron out some of the visual kinks, the UI problems, typos, information pop up thing inconsistencies. You know, oh, it's this guy. Fuck this guy. I'm going all in for this guy. Fuck you. There you go. How is the stream, though? It's still unstable. Oh, my God. Let me check. Let me do a little checky check. Yeah, it's having a hard time loading in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, network strength is not the best right now. We're in the orange sometimes, in the red. Now in the green. I don't know. It's fine. Anyhow, Volson is worse than Diablo 4, probably. But none of it matters. All that matters is... the upcoming expansion to Grim Dawn. The upcoming Titan Quest 2, Lost Epoch, and of course Path of Exile 2, that's also somewhere in the near future. I don't actually know how near, because I don't really keep up to date with that. But I really want to play the machine gun crossbow person. Just run and gun.
Oh, who the hell is that? Did it summon the skeletons? I can summon my own flavor of garbage too. Yazi the Mystic. Stupid fuck. Level up! Yeah. Yeah. 64. Wait, when did I get the 64? That was 62 a second ago. When did I skip 63? What the fuck? I remember being 62 when I ended the stream yesterday. I don't think I leveled up today yet. What happened? Oh well, maybe I cheated. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay, so I can put this back to max, this back to max, and this back to max. Yeah! Wait, what? Oh yeah, I, lose, I lost this. So I have plus three or five to hunting. So I can swap this hunting mastery pendant out to the plus one. With the defensive ability. Although that 60 odd defensive ability wouldn't do much. Still, if I see something that has like 500 health and plus one to hunting, I'm definitely putting that on. I have one of those in storm mastery. 490 something health and one storm. Storm ain't as interesting or important as hunting. And this fucking thing was so lucky! Yeah! Even though everything else on it is kind of shit. Cold resistance, elemental resistance, those are the things I don't care about. Strength is okay. Dang it. Another fat spear. Oh man. Don't need the bow, just throw sand at them. I mean, with my dexterity, I could probably shred them with sand. I mean, I you see you see that you see that wave? That's essentially my character just kicking up sand. They die. What what's it called? Fucking earth render. Look at that. I I render some earth into their face, and they die. Oh shit! This is a machine gun. Queen Machine Gun! This one is the one you want to farm in Legendary. If you need stuff from Act 2. Because this one has a chest. And this chest is known to drop... Good shit! Yes, look at that. Three! Three relics. I didn't get any blueprints or uniques, but... This chest. I've opened this chest many times before. And usually it gives... Half a decent to good stuff. Which is nice. And Queen Machine Gun dies fairly easily. Doesn't do much. Does some fire and disruption. It has its own squall, but it's fine. And it summons things too. Loading. I wanted to do something, but I fucking forgot. I think I wanted to put my strength up to 500. Because I still have 11 points left if I do that. Let's just put... Like this. 480. You know what? Nah, put it up to 500. Fuck it. I don't want to go too above 500. It'll give us some damage. Oh, man. I want to keep points at the off chance that I need to dump everything into health. 500 strength. Oh, it's final now. It's fine, it gives some damage as well. Because I won't need any more dexterity for gear. I think, what's the highest dexterity? 425, 425, 444. And this guy needs 438. So, this is the current best physical bow I have. It just needs 438, and this thing is 444. But this can be swapped out for anything. Actually, I could swap it out for the helmet now. The other helmet. Diomedes. Did I put the... F oh my god. I put the bubble on my bubble. 
I got a double bubble. Ah, it's big. <laughs> it's a big bubble. Sadly, it's pointless to put that on there. I had a bubble. There we go. That's essentially why I don't care about elemental resistances because my energy shield protects from lightning and cold pretty well. And fire, I will just uh, try to dodge, I guess. Although I do have two fire rings in my inventory. If push comes to shove, I can just swap these on, max out my fire resistance and, well, almost max out my fire resistance. Then I can just not care. It's like I'm tryharding. I have different gear for different situations. I have fire rings, vitality rings, well one, and I also have a chicken foot, I don't know what it does. Oh yeah, that's for the titan, for the, for the end. That's only for typhon, but it can sit in my inventory because it only takes up one slot, it's fine. Makes me feel like a gamer, prepared for any gaming situation. And look at that, these guys have Fire Ring, but Fire Ring is trash as well. <laughs> but most of the fire abilities will not hurt me. In Act 4, actually, those asshole Grey Marauders, they can really mess my day up if I don't have proper fire resistance, but they can also be dodged. And I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Once I get there, I'll just dodge. Whee! Scorpions. The famed chicken foot? I mean, it is. It does look like a chicken foot. Or like, maybe a crow foot. It's like a bird foot. You know? There's the little claws. Chicken foot. It's a valuable trinket. Good stuff. And since we're out in the desert, if survival becomes important, we can eat the chicken foot. As an emergency ration. Oh boy, I heard something sexy. Ooh, crystalline greaves. That's a set item. Where they do? Where, where they? Oh, oh, super cute. Look at that reflection. Wow. Look how they grow. Hey, thanks for the follow, Crow. Crow, Crow Jesus. For some reason, I always want to say Crow Muffin because I see the the Fs. But hey, thanks. Look at that reflection. I have the the bracelets for this. Lightning resi, chance of cold retaliation. That's more like melee. Movement speed, reflection. Oh, what does it look like? Whoa, look at that. Oh yeah, crystalline. I'm not gonna use that, but definitely saving it. I don't know what build that's for. But judging by the cold retaliation, I'm guessing it's some kind of storm build, so it might be good for me. I don't know where the bracers are, it's probably one on one of the mules have it. Is this strained gear or dax? It's strained. Oh, it's pretty low strained as well. So this might be a storm one. 
Prime side. That's a melee weapon, I think. But judging by the name, it has to do with cold. I need to check what the set bonus does, but I'm definitely not swapping out my Stonebinder cuffs. There's no way. That plus three to all skills? That's too important. That enab that allowed me to swap out so many gear to upgrade for better one without losing skill points. It's it's just great. Best in slot. Yes. Oh, claws. I always get excited when I see these fucking claws drop. Because there was a time when I needed them. But I have so fucking much of them now. But my monkey brain still gets excited. Like, oh shit, a claw. I love them. I collect clippings from dogs. <laughs> Toenail clippings. will come come in use later actually piercing damage I mean it's good for me hey a shit thing about Titan quest that has been fixed so to speak in Grim Dawn is that you can't put uh, charms and relics on unique items like you can't put things on blues and purples. And that's why greens are usually, in a lot of cases, better than anything else. Like, this bow could be overpowered in later acts by a good green. Because I can also mod greens, you know? And it, it pisses me off so much. I find a very good blue or, or purple, and it's like, ah, oh, this is perfect, I want this. I want to marry this item. However, it cannot be made better later on. And then the sad feelings start to happen. Ooh! Shrine. Come closer. I can't die. Oh, that's neat. So when they die and turn into a, a, a ghost, they lose the study prey. It stinks. But it's a nice quality of detail. Or quality of detail. Attention to detail, I guess. Yay. Those totems are very good because you can really farm experience with those if you so choose to. Those phantasmal skeletons give a lot of XP for some reason. Don't be sad, you have famed chicken foot. That's true. The chicken foot can carry me to victory. What is that? Exhumed armor. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh shit, I think the music ended. No. No. That cannot be. That cannot stand. Look at all those treasure chests. Oh my god. Get ready to be showered in Borderlands amounts of loot. 95% of which is garbage. Yes. Not even 
circlet, scale bracers, suit of impetus. I don't need that. Mine works just fine. Oh, the door. What is the uh, the build you're going with, Pro? What's the first build you decided on? Oh shit, oh shit, big dog, no, big dog, no! Not like this! That's a hero dog, too. Slobberjaw! <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of name do these guys give themselves? Slobberjaw. The rabbit dog. Leggings of Grace. Eh. Once we loop back to Memphis, I'm probably gonna swap the helmet. Although, 42 pierce resistance would go to 58 pierce. Or, actually, yeah. It'd still be on 58%, which is fine. I would, however, lose a lot of life again. I'll be down below 4,000. Ugh. That's kind of stinky. And the helmet is blue, so I couldn't mod it. Hmm. And I did get the stun resistance with this. So honestly, I might actually not swap the helmet. It would give me... Uh, plus one to all skills. So I could level up the storm tree again. Ah, uh, not sure. Where the fuck is Fayum? Oh Jesus, what is that? Oh, these guys have fire. My only weakness. Besides bleeding and vitality and... And losing... Oh my god, what happened? That buddy contorted real nice. Resistances are important, kids. Remember. Remember to put your resistances up. Don't be like me. Put your fire resistance up. Oh, it's only 56. Not even close to being maxed. But 56 is better than minus 40. Like... A lot better. I didn't put my resistance up and that's what happened. Use protection! It's... It works! It fucking works. <laughs> Although now I can't dodge melee. But that's okay. Because I still have... Oh my god, what am I doing? Gross. Hey, I can use this axe! Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of funny to see how a dexterity character... There's so much fucking strength that they can use strength weapons. That's a problem with this game. Not enough dex items. Not even enough dex gear. Only a select few monsters have dexterity gear that they drop reliably. Like the Gorgons, which supply me with three of my gear. And other ones are the Tiger Men in Act 3. They can give good stuff. But... Ah! Go all out for this guy. It. But normally in, in stores you don't get dexterity gear. You get strength and intelligence. Don't make your first character dexterity. Or or do. I mean it's up to you, but Dexterity characters have to become hybrids. Either strength or intelligence, because otherwise you will be very limited with gear. And if you don't find the good gear you're looking for, you might be running around with normal difficulty gear, even on epic difficulty, lacking in 
defense and everything. Although relics and charms can fix a lot of problems even then. But it just feels it just feels bad, you know. Running around in a level five leather jacket or whatever the fuck. Leather suit, leather armor, breastplate, that's the word. On epic difficulty. It's like eh. Sucks. Fire resist for tryhards only. I mean, I had to because that guy laid me out super fast. That's death 32. Stinks. And it could have been avoided. I knew the fight was coming up. I know he's here. He's a part of a quest. But I just... I just did the lazy thing and I paid for it. Honestly, on Legendary difficulty, resistances are more important than damage. So I could just get rid of the adroit loops. But they give a lot of... A lot of dexterity. Defensive ability. Which is defense. Dexterity is also defense. Dodge attacks is also defense. So honestly, these adroit loops are so fucking good. And I have two of them, haha! <laughs> They are wonderful. Alright, let's kill uh, the Scorpion King. From the movie. The Scorpion King. Actually, the Scorpion King turns into a Scorpion, not in Scorpion King, but in Mummy 3? Mummy 2? I don't remember. I haven't seen any of those in so long. Hey, you there! Inside! Let me cheese you. It would please me to cheese you. This is the one that does not want to come- Oh my god! <laughs> no! No! Open the door at this time. I can't open the door at this time! He's gonna fuck my ass! Ah. This is when you kite. Oh my god, he's so easy to kill. I always come in here thinking that he's gonna be super fucking bad. Not remembering that he's super squishy. He's fast, and that's pretty scary, but... I mean, I did pop my three. Ooh! A purple! Ooh, I don't have this yet. That's nice. Holy fuck! Pierce resistance, bleeding, elemental, vitality. Life leech, energy leech, 117 stun resistance. Where have you been all my life? 42% physical damage, 450 health. Oh my god. Avoid protect. Ah! Well, I might need to use the restroom, but that's a pretty nice thing. I think you reached like Act 3 like a year ago now. You decided to come back to TQ. What's your build? I want to talk build. What tickles your fancy? Is it melee? Is it casting? Is it ranged? Is it summoning? Summoner is very fun in this game. At least to me. I like summoner builds. Earth and nature mastery hybrid is the summoner and... And the, the walls are good. The core dweller is the best fucking summon in this game. And... And the, the Nymph is good as well, because you only need to put one point into it, and it can still hold its own, because it has health reduction on every attack. But if you max it out, it gets better. Just don't give it uh, skills, because it lowers its DPS. You don't want to lower the DPS of your girlfriend. That's not nice. Oh, wait, 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 let's not go in here yet. I want to get the teleport. Because if I die to the fucking Manticore... I'm not doing the fucking four minute run. No, no, no. Although, I would still need to do it. Because the portal... Yeah, the portal disappears when you die, so it doesn't matter. Oh look, I found it! I found Fayum. Yeah. Fayum. Weapons, armor, potions, bolts and staves. What would be your choosing? My choosing would be... Oh, whoa, that's sexy. 
choosing would be something with ice cream. Rings are also fucking stupid in this game, not just the economy. Like, you can find garbage rings like this on legendary difficulty. Level 8, you can get this in normal difficulty. But like, some of them are super bad. 593 health? Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Oh my god, oh, that's an amulet. Ah, too bad. If it was a ring, I would have definitely used it. This is an amulet, not so much. I'm gonna put this in my stash as well. What is this? Dexterity and energy? Get out of here. Alright, this sexy amulet. I might need to do something with that. The shield can come as well. Safe travels. You want to do something called damage caster right now? Storm mastery. Storm Mastery Ice Ice Shard. Ice Shard gets very fun when you reach the full upgrade on it. The, uh, the torrent. It does cold damage, slows enemies, uh, faster projectile, it can pierce enemies, it does even more cold damage. Then, then when you get torrent, it gets extra projectiles, and they don't spread too much. They, they, stick in one bunch pretty much so you're not gonna have a lot of uh, horizontal spread and it gives you frost burn one of the rare things that can give you flat frost burn very nice you will definitely want to increase your casting speed to about 200 percent anything below 200 percent is slow however if you do that be prepared that you will go through your energy in seconds during combat so you will need a lot of potions a lot but you don't need high level potions as i said normal difficulty potions are enough that's essentially your main cold casting then there is thunderball which is lightning but it does a lot of stun so it can help you in uh, sticky situations there's also lightning bolt which is also lightning with more stun this is essentially the only cold offensive thing you have ice shard Augmented with Storm Nimbus and Heart of Frost. Gives a lot more cold damage and frost burn damage. Very nice. Obviously bubble for defense. This is lightning. This is the other cold thing, but it's only for stopping one enemy at a time. It's 1.8 meter radius. We'll barely get more than one person. Although I think the radius goes up as you level it up. I never used this. I don't think it's needed. The stun is better. Just stun the fucking things. It's fine. Squall if you don't want to take much damage. Because Obscured Visibility is very good. Most of these are like... Stun, or buff, or debuff on enemies. But essentially this is the only cold casting in the game. Ice Shard. But it's it's good enough. It, it, it gets the job done, I would say. And of course you can buff it with uh, intelligence because it increases energy regeneration and elemental damage which is the most important thing and gear of course you can have staves Where, where's the where's the smart vendor there he is there's the bookman why hello you have staves and you essentially want to look for something that has percentage gold on it because it, if it says something like 16 to 63 9 lightning damage, that only applies to the staff attack. So it, this would not enhance Ice Shard, for example. You need percentage. Come yeah. again. If you want Cold Caster, Cold Damage Caster, that's essentially your only choice to go into Storm and go Ice Shard. I don't know if you have the other expansions, like Ragnarok. Because I think Ragnarok Rune Mastery has cold in it. But I don't think it has a main cold casting. It probably has just buffs. Maybe do stones that it can put down can give you extra cold. Storage for the burden traveler. I'm so burdened. Right, let's take this out. Fucking things. I need to clean up my inventory a little bit. I 
Actually, this we don't need anymore. Ah, this is such a nice thing, though. Boink. There you go. Cleaner-ish. It's gonna go in here. It's gonna go in here. Alright, so the helmet. Oh, wait a minute. I do have some... Some amulets lined up. 500 health and plus one to storm. Yeah, because this one would lose me three. Or two. I would not be able to max out my skills that way. That's the only downside of the Myrmidon's pendant. What is Warwind? Safe travels! Oh! Executes a devastating spinning attack. Well, that's melee. That's disgusting. It would lose a lot of damage and more attack speed. Oh no. 87? Are you fucking kidding me? No. It's a very... Orgasmic pendant, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Our chests are spacious and secure. Disgusting. Helmet! Alright, let's see. Might as well, because I'm here now. Don't care about elemental, don't care about sleep. Stun I did fix. 50% is good enough for me. Skill disruption is fine. Less energy reserved is useless. Defensive ability is good. 133, that's a nice amount. And there's the plus one. Wait, if I put this on, I can put on the uh, the amulet. Mm. Synergy. And this one gives the health. 450 health that I would lose from the helmet here. It also gives the pierce resistance I would lose from the helmet. Oh, look at that. Ooh, things are coming together. Energy and don't care about... I would lose a lot of strength. If I put this on... I can't use it, because I need more strength. And if I put this on, I can't use the helmet, because I need more strength. I don't have enough! Yeah. Can't do it yet. I'll need more strength. That's okay, I'll, I'll keep this fucking helmet. So these can come back here. I also have this necklace, but... Probably not gonna use this. Also gives a lot of health. Gives attack damage converted to health, which is nice. Less pierce and some poison. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. This can fuck off. It's better. All right. Your goods are safe with I'm me. I'm not strong enough yet. I can't equip helmet. It's too heavy. So go storm mastery, spam ice shard, buy 70k mana potions, and win a game. Yeah. 70k. Uh, let's see, how much do they cost each right now? Legendary Act 2. Yes. 36,000 each. Yeah, but you need like 500 to last one act, probably. <laughs> You'll find some, of course, but going for a lot of energy regeneration is not worth it, in my opinion. But you will see. Like, if you have good enough casting speed and you got goodbye you got the shit maxed out it will burn through any kind of energy regeneration you can have greetings yeah i mean let's buy where, where is it let's start buying them let's see how how fast we can burn the the, the money yeah i mean it's a nice 20 million ish to get one, two, three, four, five hundred, minus the uh, the ten I already had. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's just it's just fifteen million. But as I said, you don't need the big energy potions. You can always go back to. Please. Actually, you. let me do that. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me see. Let me see. Normal difficulty. 
Because I'm I might as well stock up on energy potions because I am running out of them anyways. Prison of Souls. No, don't look at this. It's spoilers. We're going back to we're going back to Athens. Athens should have the second tier energy potion. Wow. I haven't been here in ages. Once I sell everything I've got, I'm oh. setting sail for some 600. island that's never seen a monster. So Milos or Ikaria. Between 36,000 or 600. I feel like this is more bang for your buck. You know. Let's let's check. Let's check, right. No more? Let's burn away my my energy. La di da. How could I burn away my energy faster? La di da. This character can't burn away their energy very fast. Resummoning my wisp eats a lot. So constantly shooting eats some. So if I, I only need to check the normal little health. All right, so I'm 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 bingo on fuel essentially. I eat a shitty health or energy potion. Five hundred energy, and the cooldown is pretty good. Boom, done. Already full. I needed to eat two, six hundred each. That's twelve hundred gold. When you have millions, that's nothing. Let's let's now see the. Uh, the Legendary Act 2 Divine uh, Energy Potion. Body da Little more. Oh, I can't use my things anymore. Wait a minute. W? Alright, we're being going fuel again. Let's use a big one. Okay, that gives you full. But... Two of this, with a pretty decent uh, cooldown speed, for 1200 gold. Or one of this, which overfilled me, it probably fills more than 971, it probably fills like a thousand, maybe a thousand two hundred, even. But for 36,000. And when you have like a bunch of energy reserved anyways, sure, if you go full intelligence, you will get more energy, because if you do another int-based uh, mastery to augment this, you will get even more energy, because the, the mastery bars give you more energy. Uh, I think financially, the tiny ones <clears throat> the tiny ones are more worth it. By now, you can sell I the big ones, anything because else? fuck them. In my opinion. When I did my Pyromancer, I was never in a, a position where I was like, Oh shit, I wish I had the big energy potions. Sure, it's only one click, but... Even filling your energy bar to 50%, you have ammunition. And by the time that goes to zero, the cooldown is off, so you can shoot again. It's fine. It's perfectly fine, in my opinion. Put my little zappity zap bullshit on. There we go. We can resume killing shit. Oh, the Manticore. I think the Manticore does bleeding with its little bone shard projectiles, and I have no way of getting my bleeding from minus 100 to anywhere less disgusting, so I'm just gonna have to dodge, yeah! <laughs> That's the best part. Who needs resistances when you can just evade? Yeah, dodge build, let's go. Ow. Although health would be nice. Also, just a... Just a word of advice. Whether you want it or not. Don't ever put points into energy. Don't, don't ever do this. Don't do this. That's disgusting. Don't do that. <laughs> also, if you go caster, a lot of intelligence gear have uh, 
extra energy on it. Like, I'm not, I'm not even talking about regeneration, but like flat energy or percentage energy. Those are good enough. Because they will pad your energy enough that you can just get by with the uh, small energy potions. And if you still find it that's uh, not very quality of life for you, you can go to epic difficulty and buy potions from there. Or go later acts from normal difficulty, because they might get better energy potions too. I don't remember how they uh, scale or when they get better things. But yeah, it's it's pointless to always get the latest and greatest energy potion. And you will also find energy potions from bone piles, enemies, chests and such. So you will have the uh, most up-to-date energy potions from time to time anyways. So yeah. It's kind of weird, but... That's how it is in this game. Just chug. That's why it's an alcoholism simulator. Because you drink. Man. I think the uh, Titan Quest Vault tallies up your amount of health potions used and the amount of energy potions used. And it's some extremely high disgusting number for my Pyromancer for energy potions. Essentially, after every, like, five enemy, I have to drink an energy potion or some shit. And Fire or Flame Surge, I think Flame Surge is not as expensive as uh, Ice Shard. Because Flame Surge, which is essentially the Fire version of Ice Shard, but a little different, it has more spread, less range. But it gets cheaper the more points you put into its... Uh, Augment. Ice Shard gets more expensive the more points you put into its augment, so... Yay. <laughs> Ice Shard is the real energy drain casting ability, I think. I think that's the, the largest fucking drain. I, w I do want to do a uh, pure Storm Mastery as well, at some point. But I want to finish this character, and then I want to finish my Bone Charmer. And after that, I want to do something with Rogue. Probably Rogue and Earth. I want to do maybe a Poison poison Fire Archer. I'm kind of hooked on the Archer right now. Plus, after I finish my Born Charmer, I will had enough for... I will have had enough of melee. Because my Born Charmer is melee. That's why I've been putting off Legendary Difficulty with that one, because I just, I just don't want to go through that. <laughs> I don't like melee in these kind of games. Nyar. I think there are mobs who steal energy. Yes. Yes, there are. But they are far and few in between. That it's not that big of a deal. Like in Act 2, there are these blue ghosts that can drain energy. There are also boss enemies. And hero enemies that can dispel you, because dispel also burns your energy, I think. Yeah, energy drain right there. And more energy drain ratio, so... There are enemies that can use spell breaker, which I just call dispel, because it's, it's whatever. But you will know when it happens, because your energy will burn away, all your energy requiring or active energy cost auras will turn off. Like, for example, Storm Nimbus is an active energy cost one. So when you go to zero, that just turns off. And you will probably take a big hit. Because if, if you go down to zero and they still drain, drain you into the negatives, that's gonna drain your health. And there are also the Act 4 Ampuses. The, uh, the Spirit Variety. They can do the... Uh, a giant area of attack. Debuff circle, essentially, that saps your energy. And you stay if you stay in it for too long, you will start losing health as well. But there's not enough of them to be a concern, honestly. At least I feel they are not really a big deal. 
They just spice up your casting life, you know. You just need to know when they happen and where they happen. And then you just pay attention and should be okay. Oh, I stunned him! I actually stunned him! Wow, my stun works. Unbelievable. Oh boy, here we go, I think. Oh no, not yet. Oh yeah, there we go. We're on the bottom. The Manticore is coming. The Manticore from Torchlight 2. But this one doesn't have a wife. And this one is probably worse than the Torchlight Manticore. And I haven't played Torchlight in a while either. Torchlight 2, that is. The good one. Although the first Torchlight is also fun. But the second one is the best and... After the second one they just go really downhill. They turn into shit. 3 and the MMO one are shit. I don't care what anyone says, they're shit. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Which is sad because I really like the Torchlight universe. It's fun. Oh well. Oh well. Oh no, I'm getting. I'm getting group hugged. Not good. There's too few of them to help the potion economy. Yeah. Not enough of them to make you want to buy the big potions. Maybe that's why this the uh, later en uh, energy potions are so expensive, you know. They're like, ah, not enough people want to buy it, so we must charge big, because otherwise we definitely don't make any fucking profit. Merchants out here just want to make a living during the end of the world. Gotta respect the hustle. What is this fucking... Trance, trance music. Did I put this on? Oh, I did. It's still synthetic. Synthetic Legion Uprising. Good game. Weightless Quag? Kyung. Chi Chiang? I don't fucking know how to Chinese. That's a spear. A spear. Right. Spear and shield is also kind of fun, but sadly it's melee. Would be cool if there were javelins in this game. Just throw javelins. Yeah. Oh, ankle faces. The terrorist organization. Titan Quest endorses terrorism. You heard it here first. But you didn't hear it from me. I don't know why I study prayed the maggots. These are super easy enemies. Look at them, they're just running around. If you can call that running. <laughs> Battle Sledge. I don't want to go into the middle. I know what lives in the middle, and I don't like it. But we have no choice. We must kill. Actually, this one is not part of any... Oh, was that the time? Did I see the time for a second? What the hell happened? How did I do that? I was just... Oh, oh yeah! In the corner you can see the time. Oh my god, it's... It's, it's 10. It's 10 p.m. <laughs> Wow, I keep forgetting that thing is there. It's even like a little clock or some shit, that's cute. Anyhow, I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, this guy doesn't even do anything. You just kill him, go to his chest, and he has a drop table. 
It looks hideous. Oh, well, here we go. You son of a bitch. Oh, he does cold and lightning breath. That's cute. No, move. Keep moving. Yeah, those barbs would kill me. They definitely pierce, but I think they also bleed. And the bleed, I could not out heal. So I'm just gonna ring around the Rosetta Stone. Ha! <laughs> Jesus! Oh well. You call her Eshet in Smite? Eshet? Eshet, uh, Virus protection? <laughs> In Smite? Isn't Smite that fucking Dota game? Or MOBA game, I guess. I died. I fucking died. It didn't even look like it hit me, but I died. Wah. Oh, where am I going? It's a nice MOBA game. I never played it. So I wouldn't know. Is it still alive? But I mean, if you're saying it's nice, it probably is still alive. I only played a little bit of Dota 2, like around six hours. Actually, I could check. I could check, so I'm not saying stupid shit. Dota. Oh, I have Dota hidden. Lol. Oh no, 25 hours. Ha! <laughs> Whatever, that's nothing. And I played I played a lot more of Heroes of the Storm, purely because it had better or more fun characters for me. Obviously I was a Jaina main. Jaina. Because of ice magic. And the summon. Plus it was not as fucking tryhardy as fucking Dota. It was more chill. But I rarely played against other players, mostly during events and shit. It's not my kind of scene. I'm not a very competitive person. I just... I just like to see the number go up, you know? We don't have to fight to see the number go up. Hello? Hello? Ah! It healed to full, you stupid fucking beast! If only I had a net. Wait a minute, would the net work on this guy? No, 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 don't breathe on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that breath attack one shots me no matter what I do. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Get bird! I don't even know how I would survive this if I was a fucking melee character. You can't block magic with your shield. You can't dodge it. So unless I had like super maxed out 80% cold and lightning resistances. And like... 250% attack speed with at least 50% of attack converted to health. I don't think I could do much with this guy. Already killed my birds, too. Do a fucking breath attack, you maniac. You're not out of energy, let's go. The fun thing is you can actually energy drain enemies as well. And I don't know if this uses energy from this guy, this breath attack. But if if it does, you can energy drain his ass and then he can't use it. Oh my god, I can't get out get out I <coughs> I can't I can't shoot. I'm too slow. Oh I, I did it. Turns into an ugly fucking skeleton. Yeah. Let's see what amount of goods I get. <coughs> Umbral curse. I think those are for Spirit Boy. 
Spirit Mastery is another fun one as well. It's nice. Although, that's another one where you mainly benefit from uh, melee, I think. Because the, the, the main aura you get from Spirit Mastery is kind of short. Definitely doesn't benefit a fucking ranged character. Umbral Cuffs. Yeah, Life Drain, Life Leech, Vitality Damage, Life Reach Resi, Intelligence and Regeneration. Half of those are useless. But the other half are nice. <clears throat> life Leech is one of the skills that I don't really like in this game. It's kind of mid, in my opinion. Strained. Oh. Let's get back to Fayum. Fayum. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn that in. I'm not gonna turn... Actually, I think this turns in automatically when you Once get to the I place. You found yeah. the treasure in I'm not gonna turn that in either. <coughs> Memphis. Yeah. They don't even appear because I didn't technically pick them up, but I already completed them. One of these guys... Actually, I think both of these guys are the same quest, which is the, uh, the Dune Raiders in the middle. Yeah. Because the Manticore is not a quest, it's just whatever. Something you can farm if you want to, but there are better farms out there. Because the run to the Manticore is long, and the Manticore is annoying. Sand Queen, I think the Manticore and Sand Queen uh, Machine Gun have the same drop table, so... Sand Queen Machine Gun goes down in 5 seconds, and the Manticore can kill you in one hit. <laughs> you decide which one is better for farming. And I think essentially they have the uh, yeah the same drop table, because even those machine guns or Mashika, or whatever the fuck its name is. Their chest is not a majestic chest. But instead it's like a... A fancy dancy sand chest. It it has the same drops as majestic chests in this area, so... As far as I know, but... Titan Quest database can give you the real answers. The real deal. I kind of want to clean this up, but at the same time, I don't care. I die so easily. I'm such a delicate flower. Also, it doesn't help that I only have 4,300 health, minus two. That's another good thing with the summoner, if you ever decide to make a summoner. Or anything, anything with nature mastery can have so much fucking health. So, if you do your ice caster, I do recommend going into nature mastery, even if you don't summon the wolves and shit, just to get heart of oak. Heart of oak, and then, oh yeah, actually, if you do full ice caster, heart of oak is actually super fucking good. Oh my god, wait a minute, these are fire boys. Maybe I should put my ring on. But you know what? I'm just gonna fucking dodge and heal. <laughs> but yeah, Heart of Oak is very good for you if you do the Ice Caster, because uh, it has an augment that has a chance to lower cast uh, energy cost by 50%. That's right. And I think if you max that skill out, you have a 45... I think 45% is where it caps. A 45% chance to cast your next ability at 50% cost. Essentially, every second shot is 50% cheaper. And that's that's a nice quality of life for a full caster. Oh, there goes this fucking album. It's such a short one. That's alright. Something different. Plus, Heart of Oak gives you an extra 85% health, and it calculates the 85% after every other modifier, so it's 85% more health. So, instead of having resistances and defenses and shit, you just have 
a bunch of meat on your bones. Like, tens and tens of thousands of meat. I think my summoner on Legendary was like... 12,000? Nah, actually not 12,000. It could have been 12,000, but I think it was only like 9-ish. Only. Because another good thing with summoners, on top of that, is that you don't need strained intelligence nor dexterity. You need some intelligence for staves and a minimum amount of intelligence gear, but you almost get all of that from just the mastery, mastery bar. And everything else you can just put into health. You can just get chunky. <laughs> can become a chungus. <gasps> there he is! The big man. Oh, yours. Yours, eat him. The all devourer. The most beautiful boy. Oh, we created such a nice image again. They're spooning. I really wish there was a summon scroll that you could summon the fucking old devourer. Or like a, a sibling of it or something. Look at it. Majestic. Just don't zoom in because... Because the hat is disgusting. Even when... even Especially when it's dead. It just kind of pops out. But... Ah. Grub. Delicious. <laughs> Full of good shit. And also proteins. Grub. The food of the future. <laughs> Tasty grub. Also, I really wish there was a summon scroll that lets you summon a swarm of these fucking scarabs because they are so cute. And they're fire. That would be... Oh my god, that's... That's scary looking. A spider coming out of the sand. But it's stuck. I fucking love these beetles. They're my best... My favorite enemy, I think, is these beetles. They're so nicely designed. Five hundred and fifty-four strain, brother. Why? Oh, because if I could use this, I could get rid of the stun resistance from this and put something else on it. Plus, I could mod this. Pierce is only five last. Ooh, movement speed. Five hundred. Oh, oh, I could get it! Although I could not, because this one has 36 on it. I'm falling behind. I mean, the same uh, same uh, predicament as my Bone Charmer. That's also a Dex strained hybrid. Even though it's Spirit and Hunting. So, because of Spirit, it has less strain than it could. Because it gets uh, intelligence and dexterity from the spirit tree. And dex and strength from hunting. But since I wanted to do that uh, in a spear shield fashion, I'm constantly lacking in strength. And I don't like, I, it's just a personal thing. I personally don't like using uh, gear that gives attributes. Because then, you know, you can get stuck with a gear for a long time. Like, for example, this fucking helmet. The relic on it, you know, it's just like... Okay, I can take it off now, but if I take it off... I lose so much strength. I'm already not able to catch up with the... Or keep up with the strength requirements. I need, I need that shit, but I hate... I hate every second of it. If only there was dex gear. Like proper normal dex gear, not just infrequent. Eh, and I think the uh, the expansions don't fix that either. Even if you have all the expansions, you can still only get strength or intelligence gear. 
and vendors and stuff. There's no basic dexterity gear. But on the flip side, dexterity gives you defensive at, uh, ability. Which, if you can get to 1800, 1600, you are basically not going to get hit much. Uh, this is the one I can't really bang. Alright, come here, doggo. Bye. It's dead. <laughs> yup, it's fucking dead. Ooh, mirror shield. That's so fine, man. Whoa, I don't have this yet. I could use this. 48% damage reflected. Oh, that's... That's pretty sexy. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that sweet shield right there. Wow, it's got a face. There's my bow. My inventory is getting a little full. Oh well, that's done. Actually, the quest is not done yet. Oh yeah, because you finish it with the uh, with the sister, not the brother. Aha! I can bank the quest. Keep the uh, 42,000 experience for later. Another good thing with the summoner. Because I, I really want people to play summoner at least once in this game, because it's fucking good. You can loot while your kids are killing things. And your kids will kill things, and the things will try to kill your kids. And you don't need to care. You just sit back and you're like, haha. You can cast plague. You can heal. You know. It's a support thing. Support. Where did these bugs come from? These bugs are also cool looking. They have a fucking skull on their back or some shit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Whoever designed these bugs, they need to be elevated to godhood. Yes. Kind of mastery that's kind of useless for this build. Although I could resummon my ball, and now it's max level. Uh -huh. Another good thing with summoners, hey, it never ends. If you find a summoning mastery shrine, or not a summoning mastery, uh, just a mastery shrine. Oh my god, the thing is here again! Because I had to. Because I went back to the main menu. Oh, that's so good. And uh, and you summon your your pets while the mastery shrine is active. Your pets will be higher level, and it will stick around even after the effects of the shrine wore off. Although it only happens if you don't have your pets maxed out yet, because it gives plus four to them, right? And while the auras and and attack skills and such go back to their normal level. The summoned pets stay. Stay the same. I'm missing a lot, huh? Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful boy. Oh, honey. Another another bit. Legendary bit. What can I put this in again? Amulets and necklaces only. And I think the crystal of Erebus can go into head armor only. And both can have a chance to give you Plus two to all skills completion bonus. So, you know... More ways. This golden scarab was actually added not not too long ago. I think last year, or maybe a year before that. Devs did a bunch of updates, because, you know... They were good guys about the whole... Hey, Titan Quest 2 is about to be... Announced. Soft announced. Might as well do a bunch of fixes and balance changes. Oh my god, the Broodmother is... Oh my god, this is just a fucking tree. I love this act. 
The best fucking shit. The brood mother dead. Go back to the ground, you bitch. Alright. Anyhow. They did a bunch of fixes and shit on this game. Before, you know. Just dropping it all together. Which is nice. They even opened the uh, the Helos temple, the Electrum temple for people that only own the Anniversary Edition. And that's also a recent change. Because when I was playing with my uh, Pyromancer, that was last year. I think the uh, Anniversary Edition people could not use the Electrum shrines because you it was blocked by rocks so you couldn't go up the path. But it, it was opened for even... Even us. Yes. Which is very nice. I'm excited about Titan Quest 2. I'm trying to not get too excited. Because <clears throat> it can always turn out to be shit. Let's go back to Memphis and sell our stuff. Although I think Fayum in Fayum you can sell it for more. Fayum is technically later in game. But I think the cap is the same. Weapons, armor, potions, yeah. bows and staves. What would be your choosing? Bows, baby. Bows all day. Garbage. If I wanted to keep on top of the uh, strained race, I would definitely have to get rings that give a bunch of extra strained. Which is easy to get. These fucking things can give like 40, 40 plus attributes. Well, not that one, apparently. And, you know, one day I might find a ring that gives plus 45 strained and something other interesting and useful important thing as a green goodbye and then i can use that and also mod it giza but who knows that day may never come oh fuck those are camels Chilling. Let's go into the pyramid first. Although it doesn't really matter too much. Skeletons! Fucking despise them. Holy engraved ring. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. That's the ring. Hell yeah. Vitality damage with energy drain. Oh, baby. <laughs> but yeah. Back to the energy drain thing. Because I, I think I just left it in half. You could, in theory, drain all the energy from Typhon. Make him unable to use his uh, nastier abilities. Although he does have an energy drain breath attack as well, so it can just drain you back. You can keep snowballing that uh, energy. If you know, you know. Energy swapping. Ugh. <laughs> I 
Saving of Grace. Is that dexterity? Yeah. Another Mastery Shrine, doesn't matter. Kind of dropped. Poor thing. Bones, why? Ooh, nice! I really like that Earth Render skill. Actually, it would be better to go into. Oh, no. I can teleport out of the pyramid, doesn't matter. What if I don't pick this up and just go in? Does this guy disappear and then miss out on the quest? Damn, he's... He's barely holding on. Monsters have broken in here. They must be stopped. If they defy a pharaoh's sarcophagus, terrible things will happen. They are witless beasts. They don't know. A curse was cast on the pharaoh's mummy. Anyone who defiles it will spread a plague through the land. Men and monsters will be afflicted. Al somebody has to stop him. If I were any kind of warrior, somebody has to, somebody has to stop him. If I somebody has to stop him. Somebody has to somebody has somebody has to stop. Somebody has to stop. Ha! Huh, it won't be me. Can't stop. Won't stop. I must kill. That is my life. I'm gonna open the fucking sarcophagus. I open it every time. I don't care. I want loot. <laughs> Curse? That de destroys the entire land? Pfft, it's already a fucking desert. What the hell? How can it get any worse, right? This guy has such a good range, why can't I have that range? Bam. Let's farm these skeletons a little bit. Make up for the death I inflicted upon myself with the fucking Manticore. Ah oh shit, I pierced. Whoops. What's behind no number two? Oh, nice. for my trap. <gasps> a 
Silver Heart? Ain't no way. I think I need that. Or something. Oh, there's the Pharaoh's sarcophagus. Thank God they didn't open it. I'm dying. <laughs> and there's the curse. It's just mustard gas. It's fine. Unless it does some kind of permanent poison resistance reduction. Mm, I'm on 78%. Wasn't I on 80? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm. No wait, I was on 60. Maybe it's above? Who knows? More. The ball is killing it. Oh man. Bed ball. Go up there, spawn them. That's another good thing about summoning. You can send your pets ahead, and all the uh, secret hidden skeletons and zerglings are going to come out of, from underground. So you can spring traps with your pets. You can use them as bait. Because their life means nothing. It's better them than you. You know? Plus, when the summoner dies, all the pets die too, so... The uh, the good of the the many. Oh fuck! It's a bow. I don't think I have this yet, but it's fucking trash. Holy crap! Energy and core, intelligence, dexterity, huh? Health, energy, huh? Total speed. That's nice. But look at the damage. Abysmal. Abysmal. Hmm. And this. Has the gall to be a level 39 bow? Get out of my sight. Take this with you. Nasty. Let's just clean this totem up. Clean the other one up. Oh look, the real sarcophagus. I wonder if there's a curse on this one. Holy fuck! Where's the rest? There they are. Mysterious man is gone. There's no better to be found. It's gone. Maybe the camels know. Camels? Ah. They are not talking.
Sphinx. Oh, and this is gonna be full of these assholes, huh? died there. Holy shit. Skettles. These are also one of my favorite enemies. They're so derpy. And they make funny noise when they die. There's a mage. Kill it. Right, look at that experience grow. Now. In there, do your shit, ball. Shit, who's that? Who's that Pokemon? It's the King of Nubia, I think. King of something. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. Casually kill the king, zombie, you know, no biggie.
guy had it coming too. What's in here? Oh, it's just the statues. Yeah, fuck, fucking. Oh wait, the statues! They deflect everything! Great. Skeleton is weird. Skeleton. There we go. Stupid fucking statue piece of shit. You stink. This is probably the lamest boss fight in the game. Don't go for that one yet. You're gonna wake up the skeletons! No! You don't want to wake up the skeletons. That's the thing that makes this boss fight difficult. Let the skeletons lie. I don't think I've ever seen the skeletons attack. I didn't know they can do the fucking... That defense adrenaline thing or whatever the defense mastery has. I think that was that. Imagine if you just run in there, trigger all the fucking skeleton totems and you're like, Oh, what am I doing? Although by the time you get here, you should know that these fucking totems summon shit. They probably don't want to just run in. But then again... Not everybody's a pro gamer. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Money. Money! Oh, two blows! Racers of the Sphinx and the Pyromancer's Circlet. Oh, I have Pyromancer stuff. Although, I don't really need the Pyromancer stuff anymore, because I've done the Pyromancer. I didn't have those items back then, and I still managed. Ooh, bracers of the thingy. Oh yeah, I have the circlet. Uh, I can keep the best, better one, sell the other. Well, I don't have the swing bracers. I think I have the helm. Helmet. Is this intel? It's strange. Mm, pierce resistant, that's nice. Oh, but this is fucking gloves. Avoid projectiles is not as important as avoid melee, but it's nice. If I put this on plus the helmet, that would be another 14% projectile avoid. Hmm. Because I think that one is 7 projectiles as well. This one is 7 dodge, it's 5, 6. Hmm. Definitely need to keep these items for my, uh, my dodge build. Which is also a spear and shield. And I haven't touched it in decades, probably. And the only thing matters is dodge attacks and avoid projectiles. Everything else is secondary at best. And it's a shit build. <laughs> I think it's hunting and warfare. Okay. Okay, head back to fight, uh, not fight, Memphis. Very nice. That's a lot of pain. Oh. Also, attack damage converted to health would be very good on this. It's generally a, generally a good idea. 
to have stuff like that, but... I'll obviously still keep a lookout for green bows. Because I imagine towards Act 3, green bows will start to overpower what I have right now. Maybe. Depends what they have on them. And I might find uh, this bow again. Although I think this is Act 4 bow. Oops. But I could still have, uh, <coughs> have it drop again. Oh, Jesus. With better rolls. That could also be an upgrade. Although that damage is fine. I should look into bleed resistance. Maybe get a set of rings that have bleed resistance. Although I, I don't really know what large enemy boss or, or quest boss does a predominant amount of bleed. Like with the Manticore I just guessed, but in the end it was the lightning breath that killed me. It was like, sure it's minus 85% resistance. And the bubble is not maxed anymore, so it's only 70% absorb. I should get better resistance for lightning. Holy fuck, that is very bad. How is how is there such a disparity between cold and lightning resistance? What gives me cold but not lightning? Who dares? Ah, the stonebinder's scuffs, of course. Oh yeah, it might be worthwhile to start going into Eye of the Storm, but I got rid of more and more items that give me skills all across the board. So now I'm I'm not sure if I can comfortably go up there. Especially if I also swap out the amulet for something that maybe only gives plus one to hunting, or no! pluses to hunting at all. Although I don't want to do that. Plus one at least. Because I want to get the plus four to at least hunting. Even if not for storm. Although for storm I have the plus three, so... That's pretty fucking sweet too. Shrine of XP! Nice! So yeah. Looking out for better amulets. Better bows, better helmet, paints, or whatever these are, greaves. Because this character also doesn't have pants. Titan Quest characters don't have pants, so... Maybe that's why I didn't have pants in Wilson. It was an homage to Titan Quest. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it was me not taking the game seriously. Or maybe both. I don't have time for idle chit chat. I'm too busy. I suppose you'll want something that's so Shut the like, fuck can up. I help you? Bye then. Like, honestly, with the fucking you know what? I'm taking my business elsewhere. Well look, a mighty warrior from foreign lands. I'm sure you will find just what you are looking for. Most of the voice acting is pretty decent in this game, even good. But this guy, the Phoebe, the Phoebe, you stink. I'm sure you will find what you're looking for. Why am I looking at an axe's fucking stats? It's a fucking melee weapon. <laughs> Dex and energy, dexterity and energy. What the fuck? Get out of here. Bunch of intelligence. That's decent health. Oh yeah, that's the unholy ring of mm! Orpheus! Like something like this. 500 health. On an amulet. With plus one to hunting. Because I really don't want to swap to the storm. Because I would lose the plus four from hunting. That sucks. And all of these can go into the thing. Come again. I did something. Ah, 
Ah! Two attribute points. Hey, that's nice. Storage for the burden traveler. Storage. Huh. I got a lot of blues and purples today, though. Two purples, three blues. I'm only counting the ones they don't have yet. I have this. Actually, I got the this purple as well. Ooh. It's pretty nice. That's a quest item. Silver heart. That might be needed. What do I need for this? Incarnation of Jade Emperor's Serenity. Persephone's Tears. Incarnation. Is that the legendary? Yeah. Act 3 and Persephone is Act 4. Divine Scroll of Arrow Dancer. I could buy one, but I think I have that. I definitely have that in my mule. My mules are chock full of fucking divine scrolls and shit. Bug. Could sell these or not sell these, but put them away. Cause I'm still using the the epic storm witches. I don't know if their squall actually it says here. Six meter, one eighty lightning damage, thirty three percent chance of impaired aim. It's just more damage on this one. And their thunderball is also it's the, their thunderball is the same damage. Are you kidding me? They have. Less than twice amount of health, but more still. Yeah, honestly, the the greater scroll is still fine. And the gin, of course, we keep. The necromancers are fine. Actually, I should use the gin more. Uh. <clears throat> and I also have some maddened gods. Good day, then. Some sexy maddened gods. Honestly, the sky's rage is probably better than the maddened god. The Sky's Rage can stun lock even even some of the bosses. Be my guest. But I haven't seen Sky Sky's Rage in whoops. In uh in anything other than normal difficulty, which is weird. Oh, that's nice. Always welcome. Alright. That's a side quest man, although that man needs this thing, and this thing takes up a lot of inventory space, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Shall I believe my eyes? Orpheus! Is that the priest <coughs> as high priest? <laughs> Why, this, this... had you not all... I was a fool. I put... I was a fool. Ooh, I got a fucking Anubis' Wrath from the guy. We got extra skill pointers, and we can head out to... whatever. The sure. Crocodilos. Or maybe they are alligators. I don't know. Their mages are fucking crazy though, holy shit. What's the time? Hmm. Do I want to try and squeeze in as much of Act 2, or rest of Act 2, in the next hour as possible? Or should I just cut it in half here? Cause I, I'm probably gonna end up at fucking uh, whatever it's... What, what it's called? Oh, I can't even see it, God damn it! At the uh, Temple of Ptah. I think it's Ptah's temple that has that that's there. I'm not sure. Probably gonna do the Valley of the Kings and then do the Tatine asshole and then have the last stretch left. Like I usually end up around there. But it feels kinda garbo because you know it's like oh the first 20 minutes it's still act two and then it's act three. It's not as nice as, you know, ending at the end of the act and starting with the next act. Ultimately, it doesn't matter, it's just bothering. Holy fuck, it's Kakra! 
Blood misters. Oh fuck! No 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 no. Whatever you do, don't don't you fucking blood blood me. I let I read the first half of her name and I was like, nah. Minus one hundred is all I could see there. <laughs> Minus one hundred percent. Run. Oh no. Cockrow had that red aura again, and it didn't do anything to my health, so I don't fucking know what it does. Maybe it gives bleed damage to allies, because I saw with the with the zombie guy, the other zombies around him also got the red aura, so... Eh. Who knows? I want to play Beastmaster. So I'm probably gonna end up here. <laughs> At the next Rebirth Fountain, and I can already see it on the minimap, so, you know. It's right there. I had a little nap thing. So. Maybe I can do a little Beastmaster into the night. Beastmaster. Miss my scorpion. Plus, if I end here. The, uh, the other potential spawn area for the Golden Scarab is also nearby. So maybe, you know, tomorrow I load up the game and it might spawn here, and then that would be a third part of the charm. You know, a little bit of cheeky farming without farming, really. <laughs> Fun! Birds. These birds also don't have a stun animation, they just kind of hover. I like the bat stun animation and the skeleton stun animation, those are fun. Skeletons legit just bend backwards, <laughs> which is just funny to me. And the bats do a circle, they fly in a circle, they get dazed. Wouldn't it be easy to stun a bat, though? Just shout at it. Shout real hard at the bat, and it goes, Oh, what the fuck? Although, probably not all bats, of course. The ones that actually see probably just get confused. Why the fuck are you shouting, man? Don't know why I'm dodging these fucking balls. They don't really hurt. I'm a master at evading poison. I'm more toxic than the enemies. What can these fuckers drop anyways? Spectral matter? Pussack? Fucking tomb broths. They're completely useless. Oh well, here we are. Thaves! Thaves! We go to Thaves, of course! Thaves. Can I get some cheeky more study praise? Oh, yeah! One more kill! Alright. Anyhow, that's, that's where we stop. I don't know when I got through level 33, because I, I could have sworn I was 62. Well, not 33, 63. I could have sworn I was 62 and then suddenly 64. Like, I, I blanked out on an entire level, but almost 65, that's cool. On the... what the fuck? On the last stretch of Act 2. So by the time Act 3 comes, I'm probably gonna be 65, because I have a couple quests also banked. 
One, two, plus one in Fayum that's not picked up yet, so it doesn't appear here. These don't give too much. This gives a nice amount. I don't know how much the Fayum one gives. This gives less. You know, they, they could probably help through a nice 7-ish percent, maybe, so, you know. Before I go to Act 3, I'll cash these in if I don't level up. But yeah, pretty good. Probably higher level than the Pyromancer was here, but the Pyromancer died a lot. Although, Act 2 and we already have 33. Most of which was stupid shit, but... <clears throat> or at least the last... Most of the last, uh, like, eight deaths were stupid shit, but that's, that's alright. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. Now I'll pick this up tomorrow from here. Bye.